So you want to make a line art brush? Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again, taking a look at a line art brush. A lot of you guys have been asking me about uh, brushes, and I figured we start off with the grandfather of all brushes, which is a line art brush. Um, great for line arting, which is what gives it its name. I have a picture of a gorgeous eye here, and we're gonna use this just as a uh, a little bit of an overlay because I don't want to do a sketch. Uh, for today's video. So we're going to go ahead and grab a new layer here and just put that above it. Uh, now for our line art brush, we're going to use a basic brush, which is basic one, um, which has almost nothing to it. So if I, if I go to a different brush here, basic opacity, you can see it has all of these different settings here. But if I go to the basic one, it has almost nothing. But that's fine because we don't need anything. If I were to paint with this, you can see it, it, you know, maybe you like this style with the thicker edges. I know a lot of people that do. It's like the vector kind of style look. Um, and that's great. If you want that, you're done. But if you don't, obviously you can go over here to check size. And then when we paint some more, you can see that now we have that nice pressure sensitivity uh, tapering, which is exactly what we need for a line art brush. Uh, now we can also do a couple more things here. If we change the curve, ooh, if we change the curve, we just put a line, uh, a dot up there, and then drag this one down. We can change the shape of it, and I'm pretty sure um, if you want, oh, there we go. There's, there's a good example. If you want to get a little bit more in depth with the uh, brushes and the uh, the the opacity settings and all this other stuff. Uh, rotation and this line here. I do have a video specifically just on brushes that I'll put down in the description and it'll probably be at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, go check that out if you want some more in-depth stuff for other brushes and not just a line-up brush. But uh, for today, we're just going to use that that small little tiny uh, tapering effect, which is nice. And then we'll go, we'll go to general, uh, we'll, go, we'll go to brush, sorry, and then go and change the diameter from 40 to uh, 20. Uh, or however small you want your brush. So if you want it to be uh, 10 pixels by default, you can do that. If you want it to be 20 by default, you can do that. I'm going to leave it on 20 for today's video. Um, and then we can change it if we need it to be a bit smaller up at the top there. So to save this brush as a new brush, I'm not going to hit overwrite because I want to keep the basic one. So we're going to go ahead and hit save new brush preset. And we're just going to call this uh, KK underscore uh, line art underscore tut. And then I'll hit save on that. Now, when we go ahead and uh, paint with this, actually, let me go up here. If we go to this, you can see that I now have that brush that's able to be chosen. I have a, a regular line art brush here, by the way, that I've created and also a grunge paint um, for actual painting. But now we have this line art uh, one right here, which uses much less than the my actual line art brush, which was not the same brush. I think I used the, um, I used the basic opacity for this one. And then I just, uh, I took the opacity off of it. <laughs> So let me scroll back down to this guy right here. Where was it at? Uh, there we go. So with this brush, now you can see if I were to go ahead and paint in our canvas here, you can see we have a really nice uh, line art kind of style, which is which is very nice. We can just go ahead and paint with this. And like I said, if you want to change the size of the brush, you can change the size of the brush up here. But by default, it will be set to 20 or whatever you set it to uh, in that general setting uh, right there. So that is a really super simple uh, line art brush right there but now let's say you do want a little bit of opacity uh, on the end of this or maybe some some fall off some kind of um, flow to it perhaps let's go ahead and do that real quick let me just uh, get this all the way around there I'm just gonna use her face as a sketch uh, um, we'll go ahead and go back to the brush presets up here and we will scroll on up uh, and go to the basic opacity which is th this is the brush I actually use from the line art brush that I use for all of my art We'll go ahead and change the diameter from 40 back down to 20, uh, 20, and now when we paint with this, it's a bit smaller. Uh, and also, we can change the ratio here to give a bit like a, a, a squishy effect. That's the technical term, by the way. It's great for calligraphy. Uh, now we can also go ahead and change the mask type from default to soft or to Gaussian if you want a more uh, hard edge here. But I'm gonna leave that on default. You can also uncheck anti-aliasing, but I don't recommend doing that. Change it to square, of course. You will probably have to turn the uh, turn the spacing up if you use the square, though, because if you have it low like this, then you can see the individual uh, cubes, and that's not what you want. So you can just put that really down low. But the lower you put this, the more lag you'll get because it's you know painting more squares. So keep that in mind. If your computer's not the best, then uh, it, it might might take a while to paint a single line. But I don't want a square. Actually, we'll leave it as a square brush. Sure, and then I'll put this on like 0 0.03. Yeah, 
And then for the size, we'll go ahead and turn size on. Now we got a little bit of a tapering effect there. And I'll just drag this down a little bit, not all the way. So now we have a little bit of that taper right there, which is nice. And I'll drag this kind of like this to make that a bit more thin. Yeah, there we go. That'd be much better. All right. Now, we also have a bit of opacity, and we don't have any flow, but we can turn that on and off. You can see if I just go ahead and do something like that, then we have it completely gone. Now it looks uh, nice and sharp-edged. But uh, let's go ahead and put some flow onto this. And flow is a bit different than opacity. You can see the difference here. This kind of looks like someone just kind of faded it away like into fog. And flow is more like it kind of just drifts off and in a more natural kind of effect. So flow is actually a really good option to use for lineup brushes. Because what, the, what you'll get is a really soft kind of... I'm going to put this back on a circle and I'm going to put the ratio back to... Uh, it's default just because I, I don't I don't like that <laughs> I don't like that for a lineup brush all right so for the rest of this we can go ahead and do a lot more things we can we can turn on some texture to this and get like a uh, well, that's fine a denim texture I guess is okay um, and we just use that you can add texture to your line art brushes which is nice so we can do something like this get a little bit of uh, grit in there and make it uh, get a bit more detail inside of your lineup which I think looks pretty nice actually uh, which I don't ever do. I've never used a line art brush with texture. I just didn't really like the way it looks because I love clean line art. But I've been doing a lot more um, sketchy style stuff because I like a sketchy style. We're going to continue on. Uh, let's undo that texture just for this video so I can go ahead and, and show you the next thing I want to show you. Which is in the tool options. If you have your line art brush up just the way you want it. Let's say it's perfect now. You can see uh, when I paint this. If I were to paint kind of slow. You can see there's a little bit of... A little bit of shakiness, it's not completely straight like like that. Um, but if I want to go ahead and turn some brush smoothing on, we have it on weighted right now, which is the default. If I turn it to none, you can see it's like much super more shaky, which is not good. So this is this one is none, this one's weighted, and then this one is me drawing fast on weighted. So there's a difference. Now if I go ahead and turn brush smoothing to basic, it'll be an in-between the weighted and the none, which is nice. But if you want a lot of smoothing you can turn on the stabilizer and you see we have this big nice brush here and it will lag behind quite a bit um, and you can get those really smooth really really smooth line arts but this is very very strange to paint this way if you're painting like if you're trying to oh sketch oh, yeah, it's really really awkward um, so I recommend this only for if you're trying to get a line like like this line right here and you just wanna do it super slow like that to try and get it the way you want it maybe you're trying to do a circle as best as possible looks pretty good um, maybe you're trying to do something and you just couldn't get that line so you wanted to switch on over to the stabilizer stabilize that line out maybe do a little bit faster maybe not that fast and control Z is always your friend people always ask me uh, about line art and you know uh, getting lines smoother or how you want them control Z that's the only answer I got for you <laughs> control Z over and over again until you get it the way you want it We've made a mess here. Let's go ahead and clear this. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for our line art video today. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.